Ministries at the University of Scranton seeks to engage all members of the community in promoting and living out the gospel values of Jesus Christ and the Jesuit ideals. University Ministries encourages all students to get involved in campus liturgies, retreats, service projects, and other faith-based programs. There's something for everyone at University Ministries. Director of Music and Liturgy Jane Lucas believes students are an integral part of on-campus liturgies. No matter what grade you are, you too can be involved in liturgy. The level of faith in the students that come to us is incredible and the desire to serve, whether it's uh, serving at Mass or uh, being a lector or being a hospitality minister or part of the music program um, is just so um, life-giving to me and to all of us here. It certainly is a, a wonderful example to their fellow students and our whole community of faith at large. I like being a lector because, as Jane Lucas instructed us, um, I came to a whole new understanding of what it meant to be able to harness um, the Word of God in such a humbling way. And uh, I guess reading in that um, in a mass environment has become so much more powerful for me and, and meaningful. Um, again, being able to kind of be a deliverer of that Word of God, and it's, it's meant a lot in that way. University Ministries offers over a dozen retreats each year, most which are located at the University of Scranton's beautiful Chapman Lake Retreat Center. Retreats vary in theme and include a Freshman Connections Retreat, the Busy Students Retreat, and the Born to be Wild Retreat. University Minister Ryan Pelsett continues to expand retreat options for students. I try to do special programming and outreach for men on campus as well as some creative or new type of retreat experiences including uh, a retreat to the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, and this fall a brand new retreat around rock and roll to uh, Cleveland, Ohio in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I helped to coordinate our freshman retreat, which is called Connections. It's an excellent experience. It's in October every year. It's simply a 24-hour retreat, and it gives new students here on campus the opportunity to meet other freshmen with similar interests. Um, you, we go up to Chapman Lake again for just 24 hours and it's led by all upperclassmen, upperclassmen who have been there, who have been freshmen, who have gone through their first year, their first semester here and the many challenges but also the many joys and the many uh, exciting things that that brings. Also a part of University Ministries is the Community Outreach Office. The office helps connect students with opportunities to serve in the community. Projects range from the Christmas Giving Tree to the Easter Basket Drive to the very popular Pet Therapy. Um, well, Community Outreach is our service office on campus. So essentially, all of the hours that need to be done, whether they be required for a class or anybody who just wants to get involved with helping out the community by doing community volunteer service, they'll come into our office and we help connect them with the agencies around the Scranton community so that we can really work on the Jesuit ideal of being men and women for and with others. Community outreach is a place where a lot of students like to come and hang out and be a part of things. Um, we are very much um, used to having student initiated ideas so if something worked at a high school or um, in their youth group and they would like to bring that to the university this is the place to do it and we have started new programs based on what our student interests and student motivation is. The International Service Program we have um, eight different trips offered. We go to Ecuador, El Salvador, Guatemala, Guyana, Haiti, Jamaica, Mexico, and the Dominican Republic. It's an opportunity for service abroad, um, an immersion experience for students, and it's a year-long process. They get involved in the spring and um, prepare for their experience and then go during the summer months. 
our program is rooted in our Jesuit ideals, and part of that is um, care for the whole self. And so we have opportunities to fundraise, such as our ball roll, which is our annual um, fundraiser. And we do it similar to a basket raffle. We roll balls down the commons, um, and the winners get prizes. And it's a great collaborative effort with our outside community and our university community, and it's highly anticipated every year. University Ministries offers a variety of faith-based programs. These programs include Christian Life Communities, or CLC, The Examine, and Leaders for a Brighter Scranton. CLC stands for Christian Life Communities, and this is an opportunity for our students who want to not only deepen their faith, but do it within the context of community. Um, they're small, faith-based communities that meet on a weekly basis. They're also student-led, and it's an opportunity to explore faith together and to um, experience where God is in their life. Leaders for a Brighter Scranton focuses um, one night per session on the Jesuit ideals. So we focus on magis, pure personalis, finding God in all things, men and women for others, and a few more other sessions. During each session, we try to um, deepen our Jesuit understanding of the ideals. Uh, we did the exam in, in Guyana, and then we came back, we had such a good experience with it that we wanted to continue doing it on campus and we figured the more people that would be involved the better. Um, it's just about 20 minutes and you take the time to settle yourself, uh, relax, and then think about your day or your week where you saw God in your day and your week. What's the best thing about university ministries? Or the students. The interaction with the students. To connect with the students. I love the work that we do with students. I love working with the students. Working with students, absolutely. And it's a privilege to hear students' stories and where they've come from and how they're trying to fit God into their life at this point in time. How can you become a part of University Ministries? Grab a buddy, find somebody else, walk into the office, talk to some upperclassmen, and don't be afraid to get involved. We're here. Come, take advantage. We've got Chapman Lake. You can catch a fish. You can pray. We have a chapel to die for there. You can chill out. Um, we have so many programs, so many things for you to do, so many service opportunities. You could go from Ecuador to New York, from Seattle to New Orleans. Uh, there's so many things to get involved with, with university ministries. My basic advice to freshmen is do not sit in your room. Get involved in something. Don't get over-involved. you got a lot of stuff to do freshman year. But come over, meet us on the second floor to Naples. We'll show you a good time. Mm -hmm.